Hey everybody, me and Buster want to say welcome to Little Cahaba Junkin, where we share a whole lot of junkin and even more Jesus. Enjoy our video. Hey everybody, it's me, Kayla Friday. And come here, Bubba. Come here. And the infamous Buster Brown Friday. Say, I'm too short to jump up in the camera. Um, but welcome back to our channel here at Little Cahaba Junkin. As you can see, we are here in my beautiful honey hole in my garage. This is not only my garage, it's my office. It's where I store everything that I'm selling, where I store all my vintage goodies, where I make my t-shirts and all of that fun stuff. So, um, but today I have a very fun video for you guys. I was very blessed and fortunate to be able to attend yet another estate sale with my Aunt Kim. And this is a little bit different. So this estate belongs to a lady here in Clanton. She is very much um, with it, um, very sharp-minded, but physically she was deteriorating and she was having to basically relocate. That way she could have more constant care. And the whole um, subject of her letting go of her treasures was very sensitive. Um, and she's a very private woman. So I did not even ask to film. Um, I felt like it was better just to respect her, respect her home and respect her precious treasures. So, but I did want to share with you the amazing haul. We did so, so good today. Um, I don't have Aunt Kim stuff. She had to get to an eye appointment, but of course Aunt Penny had to work today, but I shopped for her through FaceTime. And I am going to share with you guys what I purchased for myself and what Aunt Penny purchased for herself. Now, most of this stuff is th are things that I'm going to be keeping. Um, I don't know if you follow us on Instagram or over on Facebook, but I am no longer selling on Etsy. Um, I just, it was too much. There were, it was just too much. People are impossible to please online and I try to be as transparent and kind as I can be but it was adding more stress to my life than I needed. So God just said, let that go. And I'm gonna start doing more local sales and we will be having a sale on Labor Day weekend. That's Saturday, September 2nd at my Aunt Kim's house here in Clanton, Alabama. And we're gonna have, it's gonna be me, Aunt Kim and Aunt Penny all selling our vintage treasures. It's not gonna be a market, but we will have a very large selection for you to pick from. And we might even get Uncle Timbo to make some homemade ice cream to sell. So it's gonna be a whole lot of fun. We're gonna be doing it, like I said, that Saturday from seven to noon. So if you're local or you feel like driving over to see us, y'all come see us. But without further ado, I'm gonna hop into this amazing haul and I've got some vintage Christmas. Now we all know the star of Little Cahaba Duncan is Auntie Penny Lane. I'm gonna insert her picture here just because I know y'all be sad if she doesn't make an appearance. But anyway, so I had to shop for myself first and then I started FaceTiming Penny and then I was like, I gotta let you go because some people like I said, it was an appointment only, so there was only four of us there, but there were people getting things that I did not see, and I was like, I'm going to call you back. I got to shop for number one first, <laughs> but the first thing um, I purchased for Aunt Penny, it was a bag of vintage cookie cutters. Now, these are not really vintage. They're really pretty copper. They were $10 for the bag, but I took these out because you're going to want to see these. Look at those. So stinking cute. Now y'all know Penny always makes little vignettes in her kitchen with baking. So these are gonna be perfect. These red handled ones for Christmas. The green will be adorable for fall and summer. But all of these have those gorgeous wooden handles. And um, so just this alone right here was definitely worth $10. Most of the time, these with the little wooden handles are anywhere from two to three. Oh, Buster <laughs> just bumped the camera. These are anywhere from two to three dollars at markets. They're really highly sought after for um, collectors. But y'all, are these not going to be adorable at her baking station where she makes all of her homemade treats? 
Oh, they're so cute. So she got those. And I wanted, like I said, just to take those out to show you. And she also, she wanted me to look for some aprons and they did not have a fall apron, but I was selling this one at our show with Aunt Kim and Aunt Penny. I had this one, so she is getting this one from me. So technically that's part of her haul for today, but she also got this really cute little apron. It's got some stains, but what I had told her I thought would look really good is during the summer and spring to hang it out on her porch and stick some little garden tools out of the pocket or some sweet little gardening gloves because I love the print on it and that was two dollars but I thought that would be so stinking cute for summer and for spring and y'all know Penny's porch is to die for but would that not be so cute staged like a little gardener like a sweet little gardener with a hat and some garden tools and some little sweet um, gloves I don't know if that's what she's going to do, but I, I think that would be really cute. And then this one was $4. It is really sweet, too. And it's a really good neutral one. I love the little detail on the side. And it also has a pocket. And look at that. So stinking cute. So Penny loves this sort of stuff in her kitchen. So got that for her as well. And y'all know Aunt Penny can't pass up a bowl. So she got this set of bowls. This one was pricier because it is, um, it's in great shape. She got this one for $8 because it does have a large crack in it, but obviously we don't use them. We just stage them but beautiful, beautiful bowls, very penny. <laughs> and the last thing that Aunt Penny, whoop, excuse me, the last thing that Aunt Penny got for herself is this beautiful gathering basket. So if you have not watched our World's Longest Yard Sale video, I purchased this one at Myrtle Jane's in Fort Payne, Alabama, and she really wanted one. So hers is a little bit smaller than mine. I paid around 60 bucks for mine, but these are handmade, hand-woven baskets. And Penny got this one for 25. So gorgeous, totally worth that. I thought it was a steal. It's gonna be so pretty for fall. Put some um, dried um, hydrangeas in there. Be really pretty on her porch with some pumpkins or some gourds. It would also be beautiful in, because it is smaller, I would think it'd be really pretty on her kitchen table, like a little um, fall setup, little fall scene picnic. It'd be really, really sweet. So, Aunt Penny did really good, and I'm the best niece ever for shopping for her. But she does the same for me. But I think my favorite thing of Aunt Penny's is definitely her basket. I love it. Obviously, I bought one for myself. But I know whatever she does with all of this, it's going to be really stinking cute. And I can't wait to see what homemade treat she whips up for us in her fall home tour. Now it is my turn. I'm going to show you everything that I purchased for myself. I absolutely love this mirror. Look at that. Now I'm obsessed with old mirrors. I love them when they have this foggy mercury mercury glass look and look at this frame it's gorgeous it has acorns and flowers on it this is going to be gorgeous on a gallery wall for fall i love it it's got the hanging on the back and this was that's 20 not 50 so um, I absolutely love this. I saw it in the hallway and I had to grab it. It is right up my alley. When I saw this, I knew this had to come home with me. Like I said, it's going to be perfect for fall, really any time. But I love old mirrors. So I purchased that. And I'm starting off with everything not Christmas because I got a good bit of vintage Christmas. 
Next, I bought this really cute little croc. I love collecting crocs because I really enjoy putting old kitchen tools in them. And to go along with that, I did get some old kitchen tools. And for all the kitchen tools, um, I paid $5. I thought these were super neat little straining spoons. Couple of old um, wooden spoons. And I had never seen one of these. I thought it was super cool. A lady there told me she thought it was a butter press, but I love it. So stinking neat. Love that. And then the mason jar canner tool. So I love all of that. I also got this really pretty, beautiful old um, door handle. I got a good deal on it because it was cracked right here, but I'm just gonna use it for display. And I believe this was $5, but I thought it was so, so cute. Oh, and I left something out of Aunt Penny's. I bought, she also bought this. It was 10 and it's a really pretty flower frog. So I need to put that with her stuff. And then I purchased this really cute flower frog. I don't have one shaped like this. So cute. And y'all know I love vintage hankies. So I got a bundle of these, so cute. And lots of these will be available for purchase at our sale coming up. Some of them I am keeping for myself, but they are so cute. Look at this one. Love that one. And I am keeping these. I thought this one was absolutely beautiful. I love to tie these in my hair. Not like that, but I think this one is gorgeous. Oh, and that is another one. But I also got this one. And this is like a, a roll thing that you put in. And it says fresh rolls or hot rolls, you put it in a little basket or a bowl and it hangs out and you put your rolls in there. Isn't that cute? Y'all are gonna love this. I got to it before Aunt Penny could see it. Look at this bowl. Gorgeous. It was a little bit pricier, but it's beautiful. I love it and I have to have it. It's gonna be so pretty for fall. Whoops. And then lastly of the non-Christmas, I got another stoneware bowl. I absolutely love it. So I have this really large cabinet. I'm gonna flip you around. Y'all have seen it before. And all of that is stuff that I'm preparing and pricing for our upcoming sale. But I think what I'm gonna do is I think I'm gonna take my little hutch that's in the kitchen out, put this large one in there in the middle and open it up and use it to display all of my ironstone and my bowls. I don't know for sure if that's what I'm gonna do, but I really, I want this cabinet in the house and it didn't work where I had originally purchased it for. And um, so I think I'm gonna put it in the kitchen because it's gorgeous, it is a gorgeous piece, and I think it'd be so pretty with all of our bowls and our ironstone. Oh, real quick. I did also buy this ironstone pitcher. So stinking pretty. And this will be available for purchase at our show. But now let's get to the really, really fun part. All the vintage Christmas. You're gonna die, wait till you see what I got. Okay. So the first thing I got are these really pretty, it's all the Messiah, but it's really pretty sheet music. 
So I've got probably 10 of these, and I thought that was so cute, be adorable displayed. And then look at this vintage cutout. How stinking cute is he? I just love him. He's adorable. I had to grab him. He was down in a tote and I thought he would just be precious. And I paid a couple bucks for those. And then look at this. Popular comics and their Christmas cards in the original box. Is that not stinking adorable? Look at that. Don't you just love stuff like this? I do. So stinking cute. And I forgot what I paid for these, but it wasn't a ton, but I loved those. And then I got these little spectacles. I thought they would be super cute, kind of like Mr. Claus and Mrs. Claus, their little glasses. I thought those were adorable. Ignore my terrible fingernails, y'all. I need to go get my nails painted or either just get this stuff taken off. But I thought they were so cute. Love those. And then I got this sweet little angel. It doesn't have any really markings or anything. I thought she would be so cute sitting out somewhere. I just loved her. So dainty. I'm saving the best for last. Oh, and these aren't Christmas themed. I forgot to show them a second ago. But look at these keys. Look at these vintage keys, y'all. How stinking awesome are these? These are real keys, too. I love them. So, so pretty. Whoops. And I got a really cute little apron. Look at the little heart pocket. And we've got some Santa, some carolers, a little Christmas scene. I thought that was super cute. Love that. And y'all are about to freak out at the last thing that I'm about to show y'all. I don't think y'all are ready for this. And absolutely not under any circumstances am I selling these. These are mine. <laughs> Look at these Santa mugs. And they spell out Noel. Is that not the cutest? Look at their little faces. Y'all, I squealed with happiness. So, so cute. This is my find of the day. Absolute most favorite find of the day. And then my mirror. Those are my two favorite things that I bought. But y'all, look at that. Aren't those adorable? And they're Mark Japan. They're the real deal. I love them. It was worth going just for these. I love them so much. Well guys, that is it for today's estate sale haul. I hope you enjoyed it. Um, again, sorry I couldn't get any footage of the sale, but it was very special circumstances. So, um, but I hope you enjoyed seeing everything that Aunt Penny and I got and maybe just get some inspiration of what to be looking for. Um, don't always shop for things just during the season. We look for Christmas vintage Christmas all throughout the year, vintage fall. Um, Miss Angie Barnett always is looking for vintage Halloween. So look for your vintage items year round because usually you'll find them in the off season for they're much more readily available in the off season than they are in the heat of the season. So I hope you enjoyed our video. Remember that we love you so much and thank you for being a part of our little Cahapa Junkin family. And also just remember that Jesus loves you so much and um, he came to this earth to die for our sins so that we can have eternal life. 
and I'm not saying life as a Christian is perfect. It is hard, um, but you know, it never said that life is gonna be perfect and easy. It said that we would have a hard time here on earth, but this earth is not our home. We have somewhere better we're going, and um, I'm just gonna enjoy my life day to day while I'm here, but I know this place is not my home, but I do hope that when I get to heaven that my mansion is built completely out of vintage antique items. <laughs> but I love you guys so much. I'll see you in the next video, and be blessed.